Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. Woman, like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny, get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat oh. sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Yeah, 
had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Let's put this son of a bitch down! I'm in the Face them down! Ah! Let her rip! Ah! I'll kill you twice! Your days are over, you son Come on, this way! Yeah? Who wants to see me hang now? Oh, he's gonna get it! We could have been long gone, but no. You have to shoot the entire town! I... I... Work oh. clean! I don't leave loose ends! Came in his skull! Come on! Let's clear him out! Let's end this! Let's get to those horses, Morgan! And it's time we get... Get out of here, Morgan! Now you want to get out of here! Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now.
Be with you momentarily. Liberty is worth every penny. Thanks for your assistance. You ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Give me your money now, tough guy. Or you're a dead man. You want a hiding? <laughs> You'll get one. All right, simmer down. What's your game? Money, tough guy. Now. Yep. I hope you're making your peace. Whoa, man. Job. Yep.
Hello. How's that horse doing? I'm sorry, but we're out of free livery space at the moment. Okay, I'll switch them out. You must be a connoisseur. It can get real muddy out there, so... Sometimes, can it? Can't go a minute without getting everything caked. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. I really think your horse will appreciate it. Horses are friendlier than people. They make the most loyal friends. You treat that well and you'll have a friend for life. It'll look great on your horse. Yes? I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. 
I... Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, boy. Slow it there. This is a robbery. If I start shooting, it's over for you. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Yeah. <laughs> Work, boy! Yep. 
It's okay, boy. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and, and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Come on, Jen! Me, your sister's worried about you! Just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? This is not your damn business! Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! You pop up out of nowhere?
Long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well... Um, Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Yep. Make it quick, or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Oh, come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? Wait, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? Starting to run low. 
I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Hmm. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, my friend. Hello, mister. That's some fashion statement. The Lord, you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Yeah. Again. Poor woman. that lumber for us? 
No lumber, but I guess I can lend you some money. All right, here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. I'll be back later for what you owe me. I'll have it just as soon as we manage to sell this place off. Looks like you're almost done. I sure... I hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. Where you going? I was just with the pastor. Good to see you. What can I do for you? Now, let me see. You'll love it. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Carry it with pride. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. I let Sheriff Malloy and his boys know about my best deals. Thank you. Hey. Uh, uh, hey. Howdy. 